when I come out, the people all cheer before I even start singing. You work to earn a living. Well, I love that. Yeah, it's my hometown, really, even though I wasn't born here. But I've lived here all my life. And it's a really warm feeling. And you know, it's a feeling like electricity that you can feel in the air. The very first time I did it, back in 1979, I could feel it, the heat from this massive audience. I could feel it. Now, I probably, you know, imagined it. But it just felt like something tangible to me, and it still is. I love it. The crowd is on your side. The very first time that I sang it was when I went home and wrote it in about 20 minutes after I got the brief. But it was with a wonderful advertising agency called Campaign Palace who did Channel 7's advertising. And uh, uh, Two Poms said, uh, do you know anything about Australian football? Because what happened the year before, they had come on as he come on for World Series cricket. And that was a big success. And I thought, oh, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Who needs a cat's cry, you know, something like up there, Kazali, you know that old expression? So I went home and wrote it. I got up early in the morning, wrote it at five o'clock, along with about eight or nine other jingles because it was only supposed to be a minute long. A minute and 15 it ran, so they had to change their advertising spots to fit in uh, the extra 15 seconds. When I did Up There Kazali, i just finished a serious album that I thought was serious. So I said on the day, if we're gonna release this as a record, I really don't want it to come out as Mike Brady, so I didn't really want my name on it. So I called it the Two Man Band, because there were two of us that played on it, a guy called Peter Sullivan, did that wonderful key change, was his part of the arrangement. And he played and sang with me. So I said, I'll call it the two-man band, but it's a pseudonym. There and fight, out there and at him. But then Michael Gawinda, I think it was, tracked me down in England. He was the head of the Sun, it would have been then, of their London desk and said, you've got a number one record. I said, what? And he said, it's a number one record. It's, and I had no idea. And so I put my hand up and said, it was me, it was me. <laughs> my ego got the better of me and I put my hand up. Up there, Kazali. Yeah, in a lot of respects, up there, Kazali has changed my life. People yell out, up there, Kazali, as I'm walking down the street and I go, that's my superannuation you're talking about. You know, it's just that I have fun with it. Out there, and Adam, show her. I still love singing it. I mean, the, the smile on my face when I'm singing it is genuine. I think it's bigger now, the song, because it's intergenerational. You know, there are little kids singing it now. So in the same sort of way, it belongs to the public. It was the public that got me back on the MCG. And I'm immensely grateful for them doing that because it's a part of me now, and it's in the National Archive now, so it's a part of Australia's folk songs.